control. Well, I will once Lila and Shawnee get here. No <gasps> need to worry. Lila's been in a hurry. Happy holidays, Polly. I didn't realize I knew so many recipes. With your inventive skills, Shawnee's brains, and my decorative flair, I have no doubt that this will be the tastiest feast any of our families have ever experienced. Speaking of, where is Shawnee? She's probably waiting for the turkey to cook. Will you help me with the potatoes? <laughs> Happy holidays, guys! <laughs> Whoa! Shawnee, how are you? And how's the turkey? Ta-da! Turkey-tastic! Shawnee, we thought you were cooking it. My mom always puts it in hours before we eat. Everyone is coming over in 45 minutes. It's never going to cook in time. I'm so sorry, guys. I got carried away with a new invention I've been working on. Uh, maybe I can run to the store? Wait! This is the perfect way for us to use our combined skills and make this dinner spectacular. Shawnee, here's a holiday equation for you. If it takes five hours to cook a 30-pound turkey, how long does it take to cook a tiny turkey? <gasps> Lila, you're a genius! Tiny power! Go big! Let's see. 30 pounds, shrunk and divided by 180 degrees, five hours. If my calculations are correct, we should have a tiny, tasty turkey in 35 minutes. Perfect. Great thinking, guys. Now let's get these last few dishes done. Hmm. I think it's time for my decorative flair to be put to the test. Great. Uh, where did you put the last plate of potatoes? We can't forget the roasted ones. They're my dad's favorite. That's weird. I thought I put them there. Hmm. I'm sure they'll turn up. How are the sauces coming along, Shawnee? Ta-da! Imagining things, or have the carrots disappeared? Ah, not my sauces! Are you girls all right? Yes, Mom! Everything is under control! <laughs> this calls for my latest invention. I've not had time to perfect it yet, but it should be able to work out who's behind this feast fiasco. If I place it here, we should discover the culprit soon. Ah, <sighs> perfect. I better let it cool before I make it normal size again. Hmm, the thief looks familiar. Felon. At least my invention works. <laughs> hmm? Well, this is magnificent. And you got it here in the nick of time. Thank goodness. I, I mean, there's always room for one more. So, this is the cake convention, huh? We thought it'd be much bigger. And louder. <sighs> You're not the only one. I mean... What good fun this is! Ah, let's just taste this last cake already. Wait! Before you do... 
Chipped a tooth. Is that an umbrella? And a pinata? And whatever this is, it doesn't belong in a cake. Maybe not a normal cake, but this is our daddy daughter cake. Each section is filled with items that represent special memories to me and my dad. When I was six, for daddy daughter day, dad took me to the animal shelter and we picked out peaches. One time, Dad got us a piñata and we set it up at the park. But an eagle stole it! <laughs> that was a wild day. On our first Daddy-Daughter Day, I wanted to ride a carousel. Dad drove three hours so we could ride the best one in the state. All those memories are really special. But today is the sweetest Daddy-Daughter Day yet. Aww. <laughs> Aww. But this Cake is mostly tiny objects. And completely inedible. Uh, a plus on the design, though. Agreed. Looking forward to what you come up with next year, Team Daddy Daughter Day. I need to go call my son. And a dentist. Uh, guess we put too much effort into the decor. Well, you heard the judges. There's always next year. <laughs> you know it, Dad. Guess we can finally call it a wrap on Daddy Daughter Day. Not so fast. Aren't you forgetting something? No. Mm. Why? I'm not gonna let it go to waste. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll just go. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's that eagle again. Yeah. Ow. We should help him. Come on, Polly. Ready? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be Halloween without a good scare. <gasps> Look, it's the cookie crumb trail to the gumball house. It's the ultimate spot to trick or treat. Racy there. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to. <gasps> what was that? I can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> to compete in our annual Halloween Bake Off! <laughs> okay, we thought we would be getting treats, not making them. Well played, Mr. Gingerbread Man. Well played. <laughs> I love a good baking contest. Whoa, I love watching them. I've never been in one before. Wait, if that's the treat, then what's the trick? There is one twist. Your tools and ingredients are hidden throughout the obstacle course. Now that's my kind of bake-off. Ready, set, bake! <laughs> 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 oh boy, I hope this bakes in time. Hmm, let's see. What ingredients do we have in here? Cream isn't thickening. <sighs> Keep calm and bake on. Keep calm and bake on. Ten seconds left. Put your finishing touches on. Whee! Oh. 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 Wow, we've really outdone ourselves. Look at this sweet spread. Do they taste as good as they look? Cinnamon and I will be the judges of that. <laughs> Cinnamon? Huh. Where is he? 
<laughs> well, I guess it's a three-way tie. <laughs> Happy Halloween to all of us. But Griselle Grande ended my mission to make a difference. Griselle Grande? That lady from Galleria Grande? Gwen's grandma? Exactly. Pocket time! <gasps> the power. Griselle and I had been friends, but when she realized the power and control that came with being able to shrink anything and anyone, she grew obsessed. Do you want for the locket? I'll give you anything for it! It's not for sale. Then I'll take it! <laughs> oh. Despite my efforts, I couldn't repair the locket. <sighs> Mind blown. How come I never knew? After seeing how obsessed Griselle became, I realized how dangerous the power of the pocket locket could be in the wrong hands. That's why it's important to keep the locket a secret. Oops, I kind of told Shawnee and Lila. I think your friends can be trusted, but we must keep the word from spreading. What about Mom and Dad? Well, the locket broke before your father was born. And now, well, he can be a bit of a worrywart. Maybe best your parents don't know so they don't get worked up. No need for them to fret, since I won't be using the locket much at my age. Though, while I'm in town this week, we could use it. We? But all those big things the locket pocket is supposed to do sounded like a grown-ups only deal. True, the locket has always been held by adults, but I'm still the locket bearer. And you can be my, uh, accomplice. Ready to shrink? Together? You can do that? The locket bearer can shrink another as long as we're touching. You're small enough to begin with, so it'll be easy. Bigger things are a different story. Too much power at once. Oh, well, I don't even want to think about it. Pocket time! Yeah! <laughs> I almost forgot how wonderful it is! Come along, Polly! <laughs> And Polly was tiny like a little slug, but then she was big again! The locket has been fixed? After all these years of putting all my money into trying to replicate it and failing! But I can finally have the original! And stealing it from a little girl will be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> cake! Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not talking about cake anymore. Come, Gwen, we've got work to do. These posters look great! This year's bake sale is going to be our most successful yet! <laughs> you can say that again. Ah, just smell that batch in the oven. Mm. Oh. Uh, Lila, what temperature did you set the oven? 450, like the recipe said. Oh. Page six, paragraph three of the recipe explicitly states, set oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, preheated for a minimum of 15 minutes. What? How did I mix that up? The recipe was clear. Uh, your chocolate chip cookie recipe that's 10 pages and 5,000 words long with an entire page devoted to theoretical physics. And I am not sure that had anything to do with cookies. Wait, did it? Okay, maybe that was a tangent. It's just... Ever since my sushi training, I've taken my culinary documentation very seriously. Details are important. This is why. Oh, it's not that burnt. Watch. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> that is partly my fault, but it's partly yours, Shawnee. Your recipe took me longer to read than it takes to bake cookies. Polly, does that sound right? Uh, I'm not taking sides. While you two are debating recipe strategies, neither of you noticed that. Hmm. Is this a pocket world thing? Looks like a gumball machine. Hmm. Ha! We have a portal! Someone out there needs help. Let's go help them. As a team. Hmm. Ah, then we'll come back here and bake a new batch of cookies. As a team. Pocket world heroes? 
Hockey World Heroes. Hockey World Heroes. Tiny Towers! Sweet dreams! This place is a dentist's nightmare. What if our quest involves eating loads of candy? Maybe we should have packed our toothbrushes. Do my gumball eyes deceive me? Polly Pocket! Lila! Shawnee! Look, the gingerbread man is here. Oh, hey, Gingy! Long time no see! <laughs> What's the situation here? Just listen! Somehow, my scamp of a dog, Cinnamon, clambered to the tippy top of the gumball machine and promptly fell inside the bear's head. Now, he's trapped. Huh. If we crank that dial up there, maybe we can get the balls to drop. Yes, yes! If you can get up there, I'd rescue Cinnamon myself, but, well, climbing sheer surfaces is sadly not among my many, many splendid talents. <laughs> We're on the case. Any ideas? I do, maybe. Give me a minute. I'm gaming out scenarios. Uh, we don't have time to draft a ten-page recipe. Cinnamon is trapped. Oh, why don't we use this to launch one of us up to the dial? Uh, I don't know, Lila. Without measuring the distance, angles, resistance, air temperature, wind vectors, we could send ourselves flying in any direction. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. I'll go first. Watch me. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Huh. She's convinced. Might as well humor her. But she could launch into a wall. Lila's an athlete. This could actually work. And if it doesn't, she'll probably turn to a friend with a more scientific perspective. If she reads the literature... <sighs> Can I offer some friendly feedback? You have a big, beautiful galaxy brain that you love filling with every little detail. The rest of us, well, sometimes we need a little help keeping up. If we're going to bake as a team, the recipe needs to be simple enough for us all to follow. Was my recipe really that overboard? Uh... Hello! Cinnamon is waiting! Come on, you two, launch me! <sighs> Three steps, then jump together. On your count. One, two... Three, jump! <laughs> hey, Shawnee, uh, whew, uh, what were you saying about, uh, scenarios and, um, uh, uh, vectors? Yeah, Shawnee, what kind of scenarios are you running? Well, I think Lila's idea of using physics to our advantage is a good start. But we can't fly, so we need ropes. Really strong ropes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gingy, you got any strong ropes? Hey, I have some expired licorice at the candy shop. Come along. Is this what you're looking for? Yep, feels pretty strong to micro me. Then it's perfect. There are more things we can use around here. Uh, I know just what to do. And I promise to keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for phase two? Ready when you are, Lila. Uh... <sighs> One good twist should do it, Shawnee! Uh... <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, I'm happy to see you do, you adorable little scamp! <laughs> oh, thank you, Pocket World Heroes! Oh, I can't wait to tell Princess Rain about this! Please, come visit us whenever your sweet tooth calls. We'll take you up on that. Thanks. Now, no more climbing the gumball machine for you, Cinnamon. Good work, team. Go big! Well, we still have the bake sale ahead of us. We should get to work. Uh, Shawnee, I'm sorry I messed up that batch before. I promise to follow the recipe from now on, for real. Thanks, Lila. We're being real, my recipe was overboard, and I didn't treat you fairly. I'm sorry. Thanks. So, let's get our break on.
let's get our beak on. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Guess who's coming over today? My grandma. As a surprise, I'm going to bake her favorite apple and lavender crumble. Ready for a cooking tutorial? Okay, so first, pour a half a cup of sugar in a bowl. Then, half a cup of flour. Next, you want to dice your apples into squares. Oh, I need to remember to get lavender from the garden. <gasps> it can't be Grandma already. Polly! It's good to see you. <laughs> hey, Grandma. You're early. I want to spend as much time as possible with you today. That's great. Me too. Uh, come in. How about you get comfortable on the sofa and I'll make us some tea. Lila, is Shawnee with you? Great, I need your help. It's an emergency. Polly? How about I help you with that tea? Sure, Grandma. Teacups are there. as quickly as we could. You guys are the best. I'd planned to make Grandma's favorite cake as a surprise, but she showed up early. Can you distract her while I finish baking it? Count on us. <laughs> <gasps> Grandma, stop! Oh, hello, girls. I'm just looking for the sugar. We'll take care of the sugar. Thank you, Lila. Have you seen Polly's latest vlogs? Yes, they're great. Maybe you could be the star of her next vlog. Oh, I'm not a very good actress. You just have to be yourself. Why don't you tell us one of your adventures? <sighs> All right, then. Hello, everybody. I'm Grandma Pocket. And today, I'm going to tell you about the time when I was a pilot. Back in those days, planes were much smaller. Uh, I completely forgot the eggs. I was flying on a dangerous rescue mission across the mountains. And it was a dark and stormy night. Uh, am I doing something wrong? Oh, no. You're great. Please go on. As I was saying, it was a dark and stormy night. Tiny power! The purpose of the mission was to rescue... Eggs? I just <gasps> saw the eggs in that basket move. <laughs> Nothing abnormal with the eggs, Grandma Pocket. <laughs> How about we go in the garden to get some outdoor shots for the vlog? Hmm. Okay. Where is Polly, by the way? Uh, she might be in her room grabbing a sweater or something. Let's wait for her outside. Go big! Phew. That was close. Okay. Everything is done. <gasps> oh no, I forgot the lavender. Tiny power! Woohoo! My goodness, this is definitely harder to maneuver than a plane. You're doing great. Just keep your arms straight to balance. <sighs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <sighs> Thank you, girls. Now you have a rescue mission story. <gasps> I know this lavender smell. <sighs> Surprise! Thanks to Lila and Shawnee, I managed to surprise Grandma, and the crumble is delicious. And we discovered that your grandma is an amazing vlogger. 
That's true, actually. Grandma, do you want to tell us the rest of your plane adventure? I think that the skateboard was enough adventure for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye! Bye.